this is an infrared light that goes on the skull, reaching brain cells and activating them. This is an intranasal light that goes up the nose, delivering light to the underside of the brain. Now, if you think back evolutionary-wise, think about plants. Plants develop chlorophyll that are used for energy to activate that plant so that it stays alive. If indeed we are evolutionary creatures, might it be that we have the same kind of cell that we just haven't been aware of? Indeed, science has found that our cells have an energy factory called microchondrion that respond to light, much in the way that the plant cell does. If we can get light through the skull, we can activate and enhance energy in those cells, which will then intercommunicate with each other in a much more rapid fashion. It's as though they wake up. And in waking up, they're looking out there, hey, who's around? Let's chat. And in that sense, the neuronal material begins to lay out again a network that has become activated. So one might ask, how did I get into this, given that my field has been the use of sound, specifically binaural sound, to remediate post-traumatic stress disorder and other forms of trauma? It's known as PTSD, and we now also have another one that's called secondary traumatic stress that's picked up by someone that's close to a person that has PTSD. However, in my work with combat veterans in particular that have returned from Iraq and Afghanistan, they come back with signature wounds, both PTSD and traumatic brain injury. In effect, through the use of a treatment that I've called reset therapy, we've been able to reset brain circuitry through sound and restore the individual back to the prior trauma level. So they are functioning well emotionally. However, if they have TBI, they continue to have cognitive problems, memory, short-term, long-term. They still need a caretaker in many cases. So the loaf is half-baked, as I thought in my mind. What else could there be out there to be able to restore functioning in traumatic brain injury as well? And indeed, light is proving to be the answer. I wrote a book called Comorbid Conditions and uh, asked a well-known colleague, Dr. Michael Hamblin, if he would write the introduction, and indeed he did. In turn, about a year later, Michael asked me to write a chapter in his book. I called it Signature Wounds. In this, we remediated a combat veteran fully from his PTSD. However, as I noted, he continued to have memory and other types of cognitive problems. I lent him an infrared light for three months. We did brain mapping. In other words, we had an EEG cap on his brain that measured different areas. And we did a pre and a post. And wow, his functioning improved 66% by using the light twice a day. This was just an intranasal unit, this. He didn't need a caretaker. He was able to remember things. And in fact, he was able to take leadership in his community. Just amazing. Now, 
this also has amazingly, and this gives me goosebumps when I tell you this, this has application with Alzheimer's, with Parkinson's, with other neuronal conditions. No medication to date has been capable of reversing Alzheimer's, conditions like that. Trials are now going on with the cap that I'm wearing and similar interventions, and we are seeing a reversal of chronic Alzheimer's where the person is becoming more functional. Just amazing. We're looking forward to a new future, both with light and with sound. This is where we were created, I believe, and this is where we will be able to address a lot of the conditions that plague us.